come together this afternoon following the passing of our late sovereign, Queen Elizabeth II. Our sadness at this time is shared by people across the globe as we remember with affection and gratitude the lifetime of service given by our longest reigning monarch. But the basis on which our monarchy is built has ensured that through the centuries, the crown has passed in an unbroken line of succession. Today's ceremony marks the formal proclamation to the community of the Tower of London and its liberties of the beginning of our new king's reign. Yesterday morning, the Accession Council met at St. James's Palace to proclaim our new sovereign. The flags, which had flown at half-mast since the Queen's death, were raised at 11 o'clock to their full height to mark the start of His Majesty's reign. The Accession Council also made an order for the dissemination of the proclamation. It is my duty, as Resident Governor of His Majesty's Tower of London, to cause the proclamation to be read within my jurisdiction. Ladies and gentlemen, the proclamation of the accession. Whereas it has pleased Almighty God to call to His mercy our late Sovereign Lady, Queen Elizabeth II, of blessed and glorious memory, by whose decease the Crown of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland is solely and rightfully come to the Prince Charles Philip Arthur George. We, therefore, the Lords Spiritual and Temporal of his realm and members of the House of Commons, together with other members of his late, Her Late Majesty's Privy Council and representatives of the realms and territories, aldermen and citizens of London and others, do now hereby with one voice and consent of tongue and heart publish and proclaim that the Prince Charles Philip Arthur George is now by the death of our late sovereign of happy memory become our only lawful and rightful liege Charles III by the grace of God of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland and of his other realms and territories King, Head of the Commonwealth, Defender of the Faith, to whom we do acknowledge all faith and obedience with humble affection, beseeching God, by whom kings and queens do reign, to bless His Majesty with long and happy years to reign over us. Given at St. James's Palace this 10th day of September, in the year of our Lord, 2022. God preserve King Charles the Third! Amen! Got this party. Hey!